Hello, internet friends, and happy Halloween. Though it's Halloween on the day I film it, definitely not Halloween the day I upload it, but I'm still dressing up. <laughs> In case you're wondering, I'm a late night cereal craving. For this week's meal prep, I'm going with some comfort food and making Drizzle Me Skinny's Buffalo Chicken Bubble Up, and I'm also making strawberry French toast. If we haven't met before, I'm Laurel, and I've lost 60 pounds on WW, formerly known as Weight Watchers, and I want to show you how livable and delicious the WW lifestyle can be. All recipes will be listed in the description. And make sure that you enter all of these recipes into your own WW recipe builder because your points may differ from mine. Now let's get to the kitchen. Roar! No, that's really lame. I'm starting today by getting my chicken cooking. I have two huge frozen chicken breasts and they're going right into the Instant Pot. Close and seal the Instant Pot, set the timer to high pressure for 20 minutes, and make sure to hit that keep warm button. The Instant Pot will need to naturally release for 20 minutes after it's finished cooking. You can use pre-cooked chicken instead of doing this. I'm also roasting a ton of veggies today. I preheated my oven to 425 and I'm preparing carrots, parsnips, and broccoli. I have three cookie sheets, all lined with foil, and all sprayed with cooking spray. On one sheet, I put frozen broccoli. On another sheet, I have baby carrots. And the last sheet is for parsnips, but I have to chop those first. I peel the parsnips, which I'm now learning is unnecessary, and cut them to about the same size as the carrots. I give everything a spray of cooking spray and sprinkle everything with garlic salt. Everything goes into the oven for 20 minutes to start. They did end up taking 30 minutes total. I also have some veggies to prep for my casserole, so I chop up a few stalks of celery and I have about a half a bag of cauliflower florets. I'll set these aside for later. Let's get my French toast prepped and ready for the oven next. I combine two eggs, a cup of egg whites, and two teaspoons of strawberry extract and whisk them together. Then I grab a handful of strawberries, chop them up and add two tablespoons of no calorie granulated sweetener. I've linked mine below and I microwave them for two minutes. When they come out, I mash them up really well, add a splash of almond milk, and then about six tablespoons of sugar-free strawberry preserves. Once it's all mixed up, I add it to the eggs and whisk it together. In a sprayed loaf pan, I line up 12 slices of 647 Italian bread and pour the strawberry egg mixture all over it in between the slices and try to get everything coated. This was not easy. 647 is kind of prone to dissolving, so this won't produce slices of French toast. This is more like a casserole you'll need to slice into six pieces. This method definitely works better with regular bread. It's trick or treat night, so I get my veggies out of the oven and get this French toast loaf in the fridge. That'll give it two hours to soak everything up. Now that I'm back, I get the oven preheated to 350 for the French toast and the buffalo chicken casserole. Right before I put the French toast loaf in the oven, I drizzle over some sugar-free maple syrup. Then I put it in the oven for 20 minutes to start. Spoiler alert, this takes an hour. The chicken is done and has been naturally releasing for like an hour, so I pour out the broth to save it for later and get my hand mixer out to shred the chicken. I only need three cups of this, so I pack up the rest for later in the week. To the chicken, I add six ounces of softened fat-free cream cheese, the vegetables from earlier, a third cup of Frank's hot sauce, a quarter cup of light blue cheese dressing, and I get it all mixed together. Next, to get a seven and a half ounce can of biscuits and cut each of the biscuits into sixths. 
spread them out evenly on the bottom of a sprayed 9 by 13 pan. Then drop spoonfuls of the buffalo chicken mixture on top. This bakes for 30 minutes, but I'll pull it out at the 10 minute mark to put cheese on. Annoyingly, the French toast wasn't done yet, so I cover the top with foil and put it back in the oven with the casserole. I really forgot how long this thing took. At the 10 minute mark, remove the casserole, sprinkle a half cup of cheese over top, I'm using Velveeta shreds, and five tablespoons of crumbled bacon. Then bake for the remaining 10 minutes. I box up the carrots and parsnips separately because they're for dinners over the next couple nights, and I divide the broccoli among my meal prep containers. The French toast loaf is finally done after an hour of baking. This needs to cool for 10 minutes before I cut into it because it'll set up more while it cools. This serves six and I have the WW Recipe Builder link in the description so that you can get your own personal points for this one. The Buffalo Chicken Bubble Up serves six and smells and tastes amazing. This is the first time I've used blue cheese dressing instead of ranch and I'm never going back now. I have the WW Recipe Builder link in the description so that you can get your own personal points for this and customize the recipe as you wish. Well, that's all I have to share with you today. If you enjoyed either of these recipes or my costume, I would really appreciate it if you'd click that like button. It's a great way to say thank you and it helps my videos find new people. Thank you so much for joining me and I can't wait to see you again next time. Bye.